Hey men, if you've not watched the introduction video, you need to go do that right now before you do these exercises. That's really, really important. So click off of this and uh, click on the other one for me real quick. If you've already done that and you're ready to go, all right, let's get going. Um, if you had the luxury of doing vocal rest, I would say go for it and let your voice heal up naturally. But I'm assuming that you're watching this video because you're in trouble and you need to get your voice back quickly. So we're gonna to try to get as much function back as possible and we're gonna start with your head voice. This is gonna be very tedious, so just everybody calm down and go real slow with me and take your time. Pause the video whenever you need to and go over some sounds that aren't working all that great for you, all right? First of all, make this sound, give me go. Chest comes comfortably high Shoulders are down, breathe in, go. Now I'm just getting over my cold, so my voice doesn't work very good either, so this is a great time for us to be doing this. Give me, go. If it's cracking, don't worry about it, just do what you can. Now notice I'm not going, and going up and down like that. I want the larynx to stay in the same place. So I'm trying to make a dopey sound. Hee go. Not he. Hee go. Make sure you're doing what I'm doing. All right, now just give me a little slide like this. Now I had to really concentrate because my voice isn't feeling great and it wants to crack like and I'm sure yours is too right now if you're not feeling great. So go slow and do that slide for me. Go. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Don't stop. All the way down to the basement. Alright, take a big breath and match me. Ready with me? Go. Keep your wadi, water, not wadi, that's something else, I don't know what that is, or your throat coat tea handy. <clears throat> Got mine right here. <clears throat> now say for me, wee, 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 like this. Wee, wee, wee. Go. And if it's just going, that's okay, just do it a little bit. If we can just get one note, wee, one note, then just stay right there. Do it for me, go. Keep it going like this. Listen. I'm being very careful to not grab with my neck. I'm not doing anything weird with the body. Everything stays down. The chest stays up. Down into the basement. Ready? Go. If you can only get a couple of notes out, that's all I can expect from you right now. <clears throat> now say for me on the letter E, E, give me E, go. Now we're going to keep the lyrics low like you're talking like this. Now give me this sound. Say five notes. E, with me, go. Thank you. 
that's really hard for me right now. So I'm trying to go from my chest into my head voice. <laughs> Without doing this, I'm already in trouble, right? Because I'm pressing too hard in the chest, the larynx is coming up, and I'm lifting the head. We're keeping it all just like this, blowing straight through. Do this. Go. Listen again. Go. It's going to crack. Don't worry about it. Now let's do those notes again, and it's going to feel exactly the same. I don't worry. Uh, don't worry about how accurate you are. Give me. Do what you can. Go. <clears throat> Hold it. Head voice. Head voice. Head voice. right here if you're swollen up. Swelled, swelled. Uh, mine's popping really bad because it's all stuffed up. So rub it just like this. So you can do a little finger massage. Ah, uh, I made a zit. Shoot. A little massage right there. Now check this out. Take your hand, put it right here. <clears throat> and try to move your chin without using your face muscles. So I bet yours is going to lock up and fight you. I need you over the next few days be able to completely surrender these muscles, the mandible muscles right here, to where you can move it on with your hand, okay? You've got to be really, really relaxed for that to happen. Take your hands, rub the back of your neck. Take a drink if you need to. Alright, here we go with some lips. These fingers. Put them right where your teeth touch, right here. Lift up and go. Make that noise, go. Lovely, now we're gonna go on five notes like this. Listen, I know you can without your fingers. It's not really smart though, because you're gonna have to tighten up your face to do that. So please take your hands, put them right here on your face, and just find that magic space where the lips vibrate very freely. So um, if you're doing something with this hand, I don't know what that would possibly be at this point, but if it is busy, you can use one hand, but right now use two if you can. Ready, go. It's 
going to crack all the heck right now. Just get out a sound that you can. What we're going for is function. We're just trying to get the chords to close. That's all. So just enjoy the moment and do what you can. Listen. <laughs> All right, now let's take a full octave scale like this. Ready to go. It's just an arpeggio. One, three, five, eight, five, three, one. Ready to go. trying to stay in my chest voice at all. I mean, if it's feeling great and you're feeling squirrely, you can do that, but I'd rather you just see if you can. Blow flawlessly right up into your head voice so we're trying to connect those ranges back up. Ready? Go. to split. Go half up into the sinuses back behind the soft palate and then the other half straight out your mouth. So it ends up you're talking like right here, a little mumbly sound. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Now. Go. this sound without using the sternos or the digastric muscles here, so I'm not going to he he doing anything weird here. These guys are going to be inactive, so I'm going to go Can you try that with me? Ready and go.
next motion is going to add a little bit of pressure. Same scale, different syllables. Say, buh, buh, buh. Go. When I say the buh, 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 it disallows the air from going through those at all. Sometimes we want that, but right now I don't want any of that. So I'm going to go. Buh, 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 buh. I know a lot of you heard me use this scale a lot on the mum, 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 mum. Um, that's great, but when the voice is swelled up and it's not working all that great, the M sucks. It just doesn't work very good at all. So the bup, you're going to have a little more success with that. Try that with me. Ready? <laughs> Stop the video and take about a minute, two minutes break, and then I want you to pick out a couple of phrases in your show, um, some fairly easy phrases, and see if you can get some sound out, and uh, see if you can still make it sound like you. And the other thing, the one that's really going to save you, is look at some of the hard passages and see how you can alter some of those crazy passage passages that you know that you're worried about, some of the high notes. Don't do it. Do something else because if it's going to be a matter of you being terrified that you're going to crack on a high note um, or if it's just going to stink, what's the point? Here's the rule. Look at me. Do not show off what isn't great. What's the point? You have plenty that is great right now. Even when you're sick, we can make it to where you have plenty to show off, right? So don't show off anything that you're going to be worried about. Nobody's going to be impressed by a big squawk on the stage into the microphone. So it's not worth it. Figure out ways that you can alter the difficult sections of your songs, all right? Now, if you can, do this little workout once, maybe twice a day. Um, if you feel really sore the next day, obviously lay off. But if it's feeling better, which I bet it will, usually does, then keep it up for me. And if you can leave some comments in the section below and let me know if you got some questions and tell me about your progress and if you want me to cover any other things like this, all right? I love you and I want to hear from you, all right? Hope you get better soon, bro. Stop it, Jimbo. Cut it. <laughs>